The Ministry of Health and Wellness continues to monitor both the global and regional situation as we assess our risks and make recommendations. Most countries are presently experiencing their second wave of the COVID-19 pandemic. In St. Lucia, we continue to monitor closely and use best practices implemented as we strengthen the existing national protocols. On December 14, 2020, the United Kingdom Public Health Agency reported a variant of SARS-CoV through viral genomic sequencing. The identified strain has been in circulation from September 20, 2020 in the United Kingdom. The virus has been detected in Denmark, the Netherlands, Belgium, and Australia, but the risk of importation into the Caribbean and the rest of the world is high due to incoming travel from the United Kingdom and Europe. The public health team at the Ministry of Health and Wellness is reviewing all information in relation to this threat in consultation with international and the regional public health agencies to guide the way forward to reduce the possible impact on our country. It is known and expected that all viruses constantly change in time and hundreds of variations of this virus have been identified. The preliminary analysis in the UK suggests that the mutation has affected the rate of transmission of the virus and the estimated increased transmissibility to be up to 70%. The UK government has noted intense transmission and spread in the areas where the variant SARS-CoV-2 strain has been found. There is no indication at this point of increased infection severity or virulence associated with the new variant or changes with the vaccine efficacy. Preliminary guidance has been received from PAHO, WHO, and the European Centre of Disease Prevention and Control. The European Centres of Disease Prevention and Control has confirmed the following. There are no reports of worse clinical outcomes. The level of mortality remains the same. The effect on the population group affected is the same. On Monday, December 21st, 2020, the Caribbean Public Health Agency hosted an emergency meeting with PAHO, WHO, OECS, and the chief medical officers of the region to discuss the new risk by this new variant. It was further clarified that the PCR testing being done in countries remains the gold standard to ensure accurate diagnosis, even with the mutations, and the vaccine that has been approved by the FDA also remains as relevant. The recommendations made are in relation to the strict adherence to the current regional and national guidelines on COVID-19 prevention and control. These include the limitations on social gatherings, the maintenance of physical distancing measures, hand hygiene and infection prevention and control measures, the mandatory use of face masks in public, and strict adherence to protocols in relation to the tourism sector and quarantine for returning nationals. CAFA has also requested that positive cases with high viral loads be sent to their laboratories for gene sequencing for surveillance in our region of this new strain of the virus. Senusha intends on complying with these recommendations. Based on the scientific information received thus far in relation to the new strain and the current level of the outbreak in most countries in the region, travel restrictions are not recommended at this point for the majority of countries. This new situation further emphasizes the need for strict adherence to all protocols recommended thus far and ensure increased vigilance at all levels where risk has been identified. As we celebrate the Christmas season, let us all remain on alert and continue to play our part to protect the health and safety of our family, our friends, colleagues, and neighbors. We ask all to minimize their movements, avoid social gatherings and other activities which will bring about greater exposure to the virus. Notwithstanding, the Ministry of Health and Wellness, we will continue monitoring this situation closely and recommendations will be made guided by the science to reduce any impact of this new strain or COVID-19 on our population. As usual, we will continue providing updates as new information becomes available.